So we're going to look at making this kind of trippy uh, smoke effect in Blender. Um, we're going to use some animation from Mixamo as a basis for this. And and then we're going to add uh, essentially a smoke emitter to that animation and give it some sort of a dry ice properties and get a pretty cool result, hopefully. To start with, we want to find some animation on Mixamo that we think we can use. Um, Mixamo is just a free Adobe service where you can get... Uh, bunch of free characters and animation. Uh, they're not the highest quality uh, things out there, but they're pretty cool and they, they'll work They'll work nice for this. Just looking at this animation might be cool if you imagine the smoke coming off his arms and stuff as he spins. Yeah, I think I'm going to download this one. So all we need to do is uh, hit download. I'm going to download it as an FPX at 24 FPS. Uh, with, with skin means just with the character attached to it. So I've just gone ahead and opened a new Blender, imported that FBX animation we downloaded from Mixamo, and I'm going to start looking at setting this up as a smoke emitter. So I'm going to grab the um, the main part of the body here, press F3 and hit quick smoke. And then I'm going to take this domain that it's created for us, and uh, it doesn't encompass the entire animation right now, and it's not very optimized in terms of size, so I'm going to drag out this this edge of it pull up the floor a little bit and pull down the top because we don't want it to rise that high and then i'm just going to center it and make it a little bit wider something like this give it a little bit bigger just so we have room to play with cool now we see when we hit play we get some smoke but it's rising which is the opposite so to what we want so i'm going to go in the physics tab and i'm going to turn the heat down to minus two and this will cause it to to fall essentially and i'm also going to turn down the buoyancy density which is how fast it will then rise um to 0.5 and this will all just help it go down more and we also want to turn on dissolve so it doesn't linger around forever i'm going to set this to 15. So it dissolves quite slowly. You can see. Now I'm going to click on the emitter here and give it some initial velocity so that it follows the um, velocity of the, the base mesh that's emitting it here. You should get some nicer trails from that. Now you can see that it's quite hard to review this when uh, it's at such low resolution. So I'm going to hit, bump this up to 96 for now. We'll eventually render it something like 250, but this will do for now. I'm also going to set the uh, the end cache frame to match our simulation. And then I'm also going to set the scene frame to, to be the same as that as well. Frame 100 here. Now if I play this, we get a much better result. I'm actually going to bring this... Uh, base up to be at the floor level and then this will the smoke should collide with this and it will act as sort of our uh, our floor and then I'm going to enable collisions with the bottom domain border here in the settings so that it will act as if it's a floor and now um, we're still really looking at this quite low res so I'm going to try and uh, view it at, at full res 256 you can see how much slower it is, but you get a much better idea of the detail in the smoke and that kind of thing. One thing I do want to do here is actually turn on noise, and that will just help give us a bit more detail in the simulation. Um, another thing that we can do to help add some uh, noise to this is add in a force field turbulence. This is just sort of a global effector that will uh, influence the smoke a little bit, give it a bit more of a noisy motion. I'll turn that down to 0.8. We'll see how that goes. Now, what I want to do is I want to give this smoke some color. So, on the emitter object here, you can see we have this attribute smoke color. I'm going to set the value to 1, and I'm going to set it to be a sort of uh, brightish red color here. And then I'm going to hit I over that value to keyframe it. Then I'm going to come to the end, and I'm going to select a turquoise color. Hit I and keyframe it. And I'll pull this uh, keyframe to the start on the timeline here. So if I go ahead and play this through, see the smoke starts off red and it should um, swing around to be more blue towards the end. I think I'm overall pretty happy with this. 
What I am going to make sure we do actually is in the outliner here, I'm going to enable viewport disabling and I'm going to just disable these objects for now so that we only see the smoke. And then I, I might take this into rendered view and do a little bit of luck dev. So I'm going to enable rendered mode here. Um, I'm actually going to use cycles for this and the reason is um, I want a reflective floor and the only way to get really nice reflections is in cycles. Really. And then I'm going to add in a plane for our floor and then I am going to give this plane a material and I'm going to make it black, uh, shiny and then if I turn the world to be black we'll not see anything at all. But what I'm going to do is click our smoke domain object here, open up a uh, another window set it to shader and then I'm going to make this smoke emissive so you can see if we do that now we just see all the voxels and it's uh, really ugly so uh, what we need to do is use the volume info node and plug the density into the emission strength and you see now we have we have glowy smoke um, and we don't get any of that that voxel stuff now the color will plug into the emission color and now we have our our uh, color that we input. We can actually run this through a ramp if we're not happy with the colors without having to re-simulate everything. Um, so now I can just pick my colors a bit more a bit more finely here and then I'll set the interpolation to HSV so that you see it sort of goes through the rainbow a bit. Um, set that to near. I'm gonna add a math node to the uh, this here and multiply it by two maybe. So we get more extreme values. So let's go ahead and set up a camera here. Just using control number pad zero there. Set the camera to view. Also render region to speed things up. Let's try and find something that might look nice. Maybe an angle like this will look cool. You can see we see a lot more smoke in the rendered view than we do in the uh, the viewport. And let's try and add a ramp here uh, before we multiply it. And then that will we can sort of clamp the smoke values we're seeing a little bit but you know you could really push this get some kind of crazy results but I want to see a, quite a bit of smoke now we're in a position where we can go ahead and bake this uh, at much at a higher res and leave it for a while to do that so I'm going to come into the physics tab set this to 256 this might take quite a while to bake and I'm also going to set the cache output to be somewhere um, that makes sense I'll just set it to be the local directory for now and then I'll change this from replay to all and that way we can just hit a button go off and it will bake it all down into into some open VDB files so yeah let's do that another really useful setting to help speed up your simulations is to turn on adaptive domain in the physics panel um, and this will just shrink the domain to fit the smoke that's currently being simulated so it's much more efficient to simulate. One thing I forgot to mention and I've just baked a whole simulation um, wasted quite a bit of time is you want to make sure that you turn on the visibility of the emitter objects before you start baking uh, otherwise the simulation won't see them and you'll have to bake it again. Also after I baked it once I came back and changed the noise parameters here just so the noise was a big scale and I set the strength to 0.2 as well because it was just way too intense it was sort of taking over everything um but yeah I ended up with this result in the end and I'm pretty happy with it I think the colors are well, quite nice you can obviously change this change the animation you use change the colors you use you can create loads of variations of this kind of thing but yeah that's it